This guide shows you how to import your photos from your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch in Windows 10. First of all, we need to click the Start button in the bottom left hand corner. That's a left hand click. Then on our keyboard type Photos. After a while, you'll see under Best Match, Photos Trusted Windows Store app appears. Move your mouse over the word photos and left click once. After a while, the photos app will load. If it's the first time you've been into photos, you'll see this what's new in photos appear. Also, you might see a box appear asking you to sign in. If this box that asks you to sign in appears, if you have a Microsoft account, you can add it, but for the purpose of this, and you don't really need to sign if you don't want to, you can just move your mouse over the cross in the top right hand corner of the add your Microsoft account box and left click once to get rid of it. OK, so if you've got this what's new in photos box at, uh, on the screen, move your mouse over close and left click it. Now, if you've got photos on your computer, you'll see them displayed here. If you haven't like me, you'll just see this something like get all your memories in one place appear. Next thing we need to do is we need to plug in our iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Plug it into your computer now. So my iPad is plugged in because it's the first time I've plugged the iPad in. It takes a little while, but eventually it says device is ready. Now, if you've plugged your iPad into the computer before, you won't see this. You might just hear um, a few sounds as you plug it in. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this window up fully so I can see all the menu icons on here. So I'm just going to do that by left clicking on the box in the middle there and that will maximize it. There we go. You might not have to do this if yours is already maximized. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to unlock our iPad um, if it's if it's locked with a lock. But also we need to check it just in case there is any messages on the screen. Now, on the iPad or the iPhone or the iPod touch, it might actually say something along the lines of allow this device to access photos and videos. And you've got two options, allow or don't allow. Well, tap allow. Okay, so I've just done that on mine. I've unlocked it and tapped allow. Okay, so next thing we need to do is go back to the computer and we left click on this import box just here. So left click once on that now. It'll ask us where do we want to import our photos from, either from a folder um, or from a USB device. Well, because it's plugged into the USB, it's the USB device we want to uh, left click once on. And now it's looking for a device to import photos from and it's found them. So, okay, so here it's asking us to select the items to import from uh, the Apple iPad. It could be an iPhone or iPod Touch. So you can scroll down and look at the photos here. Um, any that uh, you don't want to import, just left click once on the tick, just in the top right hand corner of each photo. And that means that that particular picture won't be imported. Now, if you find that um, you've got more pictures that you don't want to import in this section here than you do want to import, then you've got the option up here, if I just click select all, to say unselect all. So you can left click unselect all and that takes all the ticks out of all the boxes and then you can go through and you can just tick the ones that you want by left clicking the box in the top right hand corner. Um, you can also select by date as well or by month. So if for instance these I took in November 2017, if I wanted to select all, all of those, I could left click each photo or I could left click select all four and it will just select all four of these. So anyway, so okay, so I've got my pictures I want to import. I want to import these from December, perhaps, yeah. I don't want to import this one here because that was just a test shot. Um, okay, so uh, I don't want to import the rest of these, that's fine. So now all I do is I just move my mouse down and left click on continue. 
Okay, so it says start importing. You've selected nine photos which will be imported in this folder. So it's going to be imported into my pictures folder. Now you can click left click change where they're imported and select another place to uh, to put the pictures. And it's, it's saying here it's found a few places where um, it would suggest uh, to, uh, to to put the pictures or we can say right we want to add another folder and we can select the folder that we want to uh, to put the pictures in manually but for now for the purpose of this guide I'm just going to put them into the pictures and it says here import into folders organized by month so yep that's fine so it means it will put each each photo that was taken in each month in a folder which is named as that month and year now it's also got an option here to delete imported items from apple ipad after importing now this might say apple iphone or it might say um, apple ipod touch um, but i would suggest don't tick this box uh, it sounds sounds good but if for any reason your photos haven't been imported, then you could run into trouble. So what I'd say is left click import here without ticking that box and then go back to your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch and delete them manually from there once you're sure they're on the computer. So, okay, so I'm ready to import. So I left click import here and it says they're imported nine photos and there you go, finished photos has finished importing nine photos and there we go there's my photos now I can find these by going back to the photos app at any time just by again left clicking on the start menu down the bottom here and then type in photos or if I want to find them on the uh, on, on the computer itself then I'll just close this down I click on my little yellow folder at the bottom here and I can see just on the left hand side there is pictures so I left click pictures and there we go there's my pictures there so as I say it put it into a folder by a year and month so as you can see the ones I took in November in 2017 are in a folder called 2017 11 I can double check that by double left clicking on that folder to open it up and there we go, yeah, I took those in uh, in November. I'm just gonna click the back button to go back to the, uh, the folders. And there's my ones taken in December. So I can double left click the ones 2017, 12. And uh, yeah, I can open them up. If I wanna look at those photos in full screen, then I can just double left click any photo there and it will then open in full screen. Or in my case, as I haven't um, used anything uh, to open any, any pictures up before, it'll ask us what app do we want to open it in. Well, in Windows 10, it's probably best to just, just say, right, we want to use the Photos app. If you want to set that permanently so it doesn't keep asking you about this, then you can tick this box here to say always use this app to open JPEG files and then double left click Photos. And there we go, my photos opened. So if I want to close that photo down, I can left click the cross just up here and that closes it down. And if I want to close this box, I just left click the cross just there. And that's it. We can now disconnect the iPad. So uh, your photos are now on the computer. Hope this helps.